You're jumping from call to call to call to call. There's blood on the floor, there's shells on the floor. Well, that round hit him in the shoulder and now caused him to discharge his weapon. Oh, you're not good enough. You know, you're a woman. You feel guilty, you feel ashamed. You still want to be that great cop. You're supposed to be tough. You're supposed to hold it in, you know, suck it up. You go take off a uniform, you pour yourself a whiskey, and then you go sit on a couch and you pass out. ID 0414-0905. Officers struggle. They have family lives. 60 to 70% of the problems people are having are in their personal life, not the job. And now I'm responding to calls where I'm dealing with other people's struggles that is out there to protect and serve. But the question is, who's protecting and serving them? And what that comes back to, it comes back to us, the chiefs, to make sure that's being done. Last May, I became the president of the Miami-Dade County Association of Chiefs of Police. I got with all the chiefs, 37 of them in the Dade County area, and I told them that I wanted to focus on a goal for the entire year. And that goal was Officer Wellness. What we're doing with Boulder Crescent, the Officer Wellness Program, has been incredible. And the main mission is to let them release the struggle that they're having, understanding how to recognize that struggle, and then on top of that, what they can do about it, the different help that they can get. They've been storing this inside, but nobody's ever sat them at the table all together and say, what are you struggling with? Struggle Well came to our police department and they actually put on a training for the peer support members. They said to me, how are you doing today? And I was like, huh, no one ever asked me that. I'm the go-to. So no one really sits and asks the go-to how because you're the one that fixes everything. I was like, you're asking me? It meant the world to me. and. It was amazing. It was like a bucket of tears came down. I'm one of the sergeants in the peer support unit. They told me, hey, you're going to this class. And I said, man, I don't need to go to no class. And they said, no, no, you're going. These two guys suggested I should do it. I told my wife, hey, listen, you know, I think I might want to do this because I'm pretty f***ed up. I was in a dark place in my life. When I say a dark place, there are stressors at work, not only on the road, but the job, things that you have to get done, reports that have to be cleared, driving to a call when you're running with lights and sirens and people don't get out of your way, all that while dealing with the stressors of still paying a mortgage to pay your car. Are my kids okay? Sometimes you have all these things in your head that are accumulating. If we don't talk about it, find coping mechanisms, find a program that suits our personality, this job will consume you and it will bleed into your personal life or your personal life into your work life. But now you're arguing with your spouse, you're arguing with your kids, you're hitting your wife, you're hitting your kids, you're hitting your husband, because it happens like that too. That's where the domestic violence grows in the home. Down on there because of, of some family members. We're putting a peer support team together for the department, which I was already starting on prior to Struggle Well. When I went to the course, it was beyond even what I thought. There's this thing, hurt people can't help hurt people, but well people can help hurt people. We can't be out there on the road and help somebody else with the problems they call us for. If we're not present in the moment, they're not gonna get what they should be getting from me. They're gonna get the little bit that I let out because I'm still over here somewhere else. If we equip every officer with how to deal with his own struggles, how to deal with the hectic day, it's only gonna make showing up to a place where things are in chaos, it's only gonna help that part be as calm as possible. I see an openness to really figure this out. This is timely and Struggle Well is right in line with the things that need to be going on for our law enforcement.